This video is brought to you by the award-winning prop firm, Fidel Chris. What's up, traders? Here we are on Trading Up. We've got Evan Christopher in the house. Uh, we've just done an awesome podcast. Go and check it out. Link below the video. Uh, after you've watched this, where he's going to talk through advanced support and resistance and storylines. So over to you, Evan. Hey, so yeah, I want to talk about, uh, you know, a little bit about advanced support and resistance. And I just want to make clear, this is not something I developed. This is completely from the Malaysians. They invented this. I don't know how, I don't know where it uh, originated, but it is something that I use as one of my foundations. There's other things that along my trading that I uh, developed myself, um, but you know, I don't talk about those things publicly, but I'll go ahead and show you know, the basic foundations of you know, the way I trade and how I start out in analysis. Fidel Crest is an award-winning prop firm that funds traders with up to $2 million and offers generous profit splits up to 90%. So one thing that really sets Fidel Crest apart is their no minimum trading days requirement on their challenge and verification stages. On top of that, traders who successfully pass the challenge and verification stages are eligible to receive a bonus payout of up to 30K on top of their funded stage profit split payout on performance. And be sure to use promo code TRADINGNUT, all one word, to get 10% off your next challenge. Click the link in the description below or the card above to find out more. So there's something called a key level, which is basically resistance, support, or resistance, resistance, and support, QM, and uh, curve. So these are key levels. This is where we're waiting for price to react from. And if we're on a daily chart, that means that price has to settle at one of these areas, meaning it has to close below if we're bearish uh, or it has to close above if we're bullish. So for example, we look at the key level here, we can see that price closed above it. So that's our key level. Then we can see here, and this is a daily time frame. This is a key level of resistance. Now, what most traders who trade this style use is a 1MA close so that you can see the line chart on your screen while you're trading, or you need to simply just use a line chart. Okay. So the key levels are always from a line chart. So for example, this is a key level, right? This is a key level of resistance. And this is what we would classify as a curve, right? Because there's a curve in price, something that looks like this. The upside and the on the downside. Okay, these are just uh, basically lower time frame support and resistance. It's when the candle stops. So you have basically, if you studied any type of like supply and demand, it'd be like a drop based drop. And then you obviously have your QM level, which is just a high, a low, a higher high, and a lower low. That's also considered key level. Okay, so let's go back into this. So what storyline is is let's say we have a daily level from here and the daily support here. Okay, so we have a daily key level up here and a daily key level below here. Remember, price has to settle above or below the key level for us to get an idea. Okay, so for example, let's say price comes up and hits our daily key level and closes above the key level, and then we have a breakout. So what price will tend to do is it'll trade from daily to daily until we get to the next daily. Okay. Now let's say, for example, this was a weekly level. How do I confirm that the weekly level is a weekly level? Well, first price has to close above it, and then you need a daily breakout. So for example, here's a weekly level, and let's say this is a weekly level as well. Okay. So in between weekly and weekly, we have daily to daily price action. So if price breaks out on daily, we always assume that it's going to go one step time frame higher. So if daily has a breakout, we're going to a weekly key level. Let's say it's H4. H4 has a breakout, we're going to a daily key level. And same thing on H1. If H1 has a breakout, we're going to an H4 key level. Now, at the same time, if we have a weekly level that got traded to, and then we have a daily breakout, the daily can stop the price from continuing on the weekly to weekly range, right? So if we're going from weekly key level to weekly key level, daily can stop the price. So for example, if we continue this price action here, and it let's just say this is the daily key level what price can do is travel from daily to daily to daily to daily and this is where you're going to get a daily consolidation because you don't have a breakout yet so the breakout's always the direction okay until we get the breakout then we can assume that we're going to that weekly level now if it broke out to the downside then we know we're going back to the daily key level and then price will just bounce between daily and daily and daily until we have a breakout Okay, so let's look at that on the gate chart. Okay, so uh, this, this whole past couple of weeks, we can see that we had a daily breakout and then price came to the daily. And we always draw the key level from the body close where the, the uh, line chart is. 
So when we go from daily to daily, right? So here's the daily key level, daily to daily. Then we break out. What happens when we have a breakout? We can expect a pullback to the weekly because this is a daily. Here's daily. Then what do we have? Another breakout. Daily to daily here. And then we have a daily curve, right? So we have daily to daily. Then we have another breakout on the daily time frame from here. You can see how price reacts right here on this wick of this candle. But why did the price stop here? Because we had another daily level up here. So now we have daily. So I will wait for price to end up on the daily, right? Because we can see based on the past prices, uh, price action, price is moving from daily to daily. And why from here though? Let's look at the weekly. We have a weekly curve from the daily, daily breakout, right? So now that we have daily breakout, we confirm that key level on the weekly, right? This is the breakout here. And when I look at breakouts, I look at the closers. I don't look at the weights. Everything comes from the line chart, okay? Breakout, pull back to daily. Why did the price stop here? Because of the daily. This is a daily QM level. So we can see price moves down here and then back up to the daily resistance. But what happened after this breakout, this pullback, we had this daily, okay? And we can look at this, uh, you know, anywhere on the chart, we can see um, here we have a daily breakout and then a daily breakout to the upside. We can see the price went from daily, daily to daily all the way up to the daily level up here. Now, the way we get into the trades is lower time frame. We always drop one time frame lower for an entry, okay? So basically at this level, I'm looking for the same thing. I'm looking here on H4 for a breakout or a rejection of this of this level of, uh, of the uh, support becomes resistance or resistance becomes support, right? So I'm looking for, first I need to see the uh, rejection uh, that the daily closes above that level. I can still take a trade from H4 if I have a breakout but I need the daily to close above the level. The daily doesn't close above the level, I need to get out of the trade because I'm no longer safe, right? Because if H4 has a breakout, pullback, entry, and the day isn't finished, and let's say H4 just starts you know, going up a bit, but then all of a sudden it starts coming down beneath my daily level, and the daily is about to close, and it closes below this level, I need to I understand at that point that this trade is not worth it anymore. I need to get out of it because we haven't closed above the key level. Now we just take this back and we can see we have daily breakout here, but we don't see any pullback yet. We can see this level daily to daily, okay? And then we have a breakout and then we have a pullback, breakout to daily, daily to daily. Uh, depending on your broker, this may or may not have touched, but you get the point, okay? And we can, we can just, you know, keep looking at this or whatever on the chart, okay? Like, Daily to daily. Then we have a breakout. Breakout, roll back to daily. Then we have a daily curve here. Okay, so price stops here, but there's no breakout. So what does it reject off of? The daily. Then it continues lower. And the only reason the price starts moving up is when, when we have a breakout. So here's a key level. Price breaks out, pull back, right? From here, we have a breakout, pull back to the daily. Okay, so, you know, after seeing this over great amount of time, you'll start to see how the market usually turns at these specific points. Now, for example, like if you wanted to get a sharper entry, because we never enter off the of daily, we always enter off H4 or H1. Uh, daily is just for the key level. So for example, if I wanted to sniper some type of trade uh, off that level, I would just use the H4 key level within that daily, right? Because above this was, uh, all this here is the wick on the daily. So I need to use the closest support. Okay, so I would reduce my entry at this uh, at this point. I'm sure that that is the last quarter. Is this one? No, same thing. Okay, so I would shrink my entry uh, by a few pips. You know, instead of having it way up here, I'm using the H4. Now, if I wanted to go down even further, but as you progress down time frames, you risk the chance of missing the trade. So you can just, you know, for me, I use H4 if the stop loss is small enough, and the stop loss is usually going to be at the end of the week down here. Uh, if we look at US 30, you can see the same. Playing hey folks, you ever wonder what broker I use? Well, I use Hanko Trade. It was a no-brainer because I was looking for a broker with good trading conditions and one that wouldn't restrict my leverage. Now, by joining Hanko Trade, I've also cut down my trading costs significantly with their super low commission of just $1 per 100K. You can learn more at HankoTrade.com or just click the link I've put in the description. Okay, so on US 30, we look at the weekly, like where did this rally come from? You can see that that rally came from 
this weekly level. Now we can confirm that weekly level on the daily where we have the daily breakout pull back. And if we look at H4 from that level, we just modify our entry to the oops, um, here. So yeah, that's how I uh, I trade uh, as a foundation. These are just the foundations, but you know, there's other things that I use, such as trend lines. Uh, but you know, trend lines can be subjective unless you have certain criteria for a for a trend line. Uh, so the way I do trend lines is a lot different than a lot of people, um, and it has a certain criteria and confluence to it. Um, I use I also use uh, certain levels within the daily to daily ranges uh, to catch intraday moves. Brilliant. Well, look, that, that's a first for the channel. I think uh, I've not seen that before. So thank you very much, Evan, for sharing that. Now, guys, do remember there's a podcast that tells uh, about Evan's whole story. Link below the video. Before we wrap up, what's the best way for the traders to get hold of you? Uh, they can check out blackrabbitfree.com where I give free tips, lessons, and resources. Awesome stuff. Now, folks, whilst you're down there clicking away, uh, click on that hit subscribe, hit that like button and click on that notifications bell. Click all and we'll see you in the next video.